Our question is, how many picometers are in 4.4 nanometers? And uh, I've got a nice setup here. I've got my 4.4 nanometers. That's my starting point for solving this problem for the unit conversion. And uh, I'm not familiar with an easy conversion factor between nanometers and picometers. I'm going to refer them both back to meters. And if you look on the nomenclature sheet, you'll see there's a table of measurement prefixes to memorize. And on that table, it says uh, the prefix nanometer is n, and that it means 10 to the minus 9. What that means is that 1 nanometer equals 10 to the minus 9 meters. And sometimes we write it as 1 nanometer equals 1 times 10 to the minus 9 meters. But the 1 is assumed, and uh, that happens a lot in math and chemistry. So if there's no number, then the number is 1. Likewise, if you look at this handout, you can see that a picometer, P, is 10 to the minus 12 meaning. And so a picometer is a 10 to the minus 12 meter. So that's where we get that conversion. Now, multiplying this out, we can see that 4.4. And here's a tricky part. This is my old-fashioned calculator. The way that I have to enter in uh, 10 to the minus 9 is I have to enter in, so I'm going to do times first, times. Oop, that show this. So times, and then 1, and then I hit the exponent button and I get the two little exponents there, which means one times 10 to the, and then I hit plus or minus, and then the little minus sign appears there, and nine. So that's how I enter uh, 10 to the minus nine. I do actually enter one times 10 to the minus nine. I enter it as one exponent uh, plus or minus, and then nine. Now I then have to divide by Uh, 1 times 10 to the minus 12, so I already hit the divide by, I'll do 1 exponent, plus or minus for minus 12, and I get 4400, my units are picometers. Now, uh, just a thought process about this one, uh, we can see that it's 10 to the minus 9 on the top, and it's 10 to the minus 12 on the bottom, which means divide by. And so overall, if we were to think from our math classes, how do we account for these two? Well, you might you would do, uh, it would be 10 to the minus 9. And then anything that's in the denominator, you subtract. And so since it's a minus a minus, this actually equals 10 to the minus 9 plus 12, which equals 10 to the third. So 4.4 times 10 to the third, which is what these two add up to or multiply out to, equals 4,400. And that's a little bit behind the thought process and how to solve this problem, including how to work with nanometers and picometers.